one neighborhood to another, images of empowerment, freedom, nature's beauty, a city's heroes reawaken an abandoned building, a desolate block, or portray a neighborhood's unique personality. I do know that there are some murals that when they have been painted, it just changes the way people look at the art form and it has challenged people to start to think about their neighborhood and their community and what role art can play for them. And I think that that is really significant. I think what gives murals their power are several things. I think it's their size, it's the, their scale, I think it's the way they surprise us when we turn the corner of a city street. I think that it's their color. I think it's how they can take into account our past or our dreams, our heroes, our memories, you know, all those things come alive on this wall. In 1996, Mayor Ed Rendell restructured the anti-graffiti network and created the mural arts program within the Department of Recreation. In 2001, mural arts found a home at the landmark Thomas Aikens House. It started out to be getting rid of graffiti. And, and trying to encourage people to keep their neighborhood clean as well. But Jane's not so hidden agenda <laughs> had it naturally evolve into a celebration of culture and arts. And I have to put culture in there too because she goes to every neighborhood in this city. It's an important program for the city and particularly for this administration, because I think the hallmark of this administration is our neighborhoods. I think it brings life to areas that have been in decay in many cases. And, and I think the fact that the city is willing to invest both dollars and time in a program like the Mural Arts Program in our neighborhoods, that commitment shows a caring about what we believe is the strength of the city, which is our neighborhoods, and making sure that we're bringing them along in the revitalization effort of the city.